Hello, welcome to Ms. Haley's U.S. History class. My name is Sharon Haley and I teach U.S. History and I've been teaching at the South Washington County School District since 1992. Uh, this is the first time though that I've had the experience to be teaching a virtual learning academy and students in an A-B setting. We're going to give it a great try. Uh, below is the top 10 reference list of tasks, goals, and points to ponder for my U.S. History class. Uh, I want my students to do a great job organized like a David Letterman style here, number 10, so that they can be successful. I, I'm available Monday through Thursday, 2.45 to 3.30 p.m. through WebEx for student support. And my WebEx uh, is listed or is right there. That's a live uh, link for students to click on. They should ask questions. Um, I can answer questions for them. I can help them along with any work. My Virtual Learning Academy group has their own personal WebEx. Um, also linked there on Fridays for hour one, it's nine to nine forty-five. Hour two, ten to ten forty-five, and hour three from eleven to eleven forty-five. So I'd be glad to talk to the students at that time, and I may ask uh, students to do a little oral uh, work with me on those days. That would be great. Okay, the number nine thing. My U.S. History syllabus is on my resources page. The resources page has a white folder. It has our American Nation textbook as well. On the syllabus is my phone number, but I listed it here too, 425-2424, and my email address. Students can send me work. Um, if you have questions, great. Comments, that's all good. Number eight, put the phones away. I mentioned this to students as they came in. Um, if you're at home, you, you might be using them. Number seven, bring earbuds or headphones to class for self-paced work. There might be some uh, little video links that have a sound and some other students might be working on different video links or um, other work. And so anyway, that would be very nice and, and respectful of their classmates. Number six, realize that a hex semester is six weeks, so we have to do lessons in double time. Fortunately, students only have three classes, so hopefully they can, you know, keep up. Uh, but there is uh, the... The class hours are lengthened and there is more work during the day. All right. Number five, keep in mind that even though we'll be traveling through history at a swift pace, we'll also be learning about history not only at a national and international level, we'll learn about history at a local and personal level for relevance. We are all a part of history. Number four, for students, whether you're a virtual learning academy or an A or B student um, here coming to Eastridge, be engaged and interactive in learning. There's a plethora of interesting things to learn. So get yourself involved. Uh, commit to an effort to do good and honest work for class. Integrity cannot be overrated. Be golden. We have these be golden uh, posters in our classroom and they're also on my PowerPoint. So please, um, you know, think about being mutually respectful of each other and of course respectful of yourself by number two, submitting your own work. Inherently, one can only learn for oneself. So be honest, just want to make sure on that. Uh, number one, have fun learning. There's a lot to learn in US history and a lot of very interesting things. Once again, we're all part of that. Um, on the daily page that I have put together on Schoology, um, September 14th is today, I, the students should go in and click for attendance on a daily basis. Even if they're in class, it does it, it is helpful to me for students to click the attendance. All right, our first unit is called Pre-Columbian Era to the French and Indian War, and it's on the time period between 1400 and uh, 1763. We'll be testing on that this upcoming week, and it's on chapters one through three. Um, when you go into my Schoology, which you're seeing a little bit of it right now, the blue folders are the active folders, so that pre-Columbian era to the French and Indian War is what's going right now. I appreciate you stopping and, and listening to my information for Open House today. If you have any questions, my information is right there. Have a great day. Thanks.